mentioned previously that we cannot build and test an iOS app in Visual Studio for Windows because of Apple licensing. It requires the building process to take place on a Macintosh computer with Xcode. However, there is a way that if we have a Mac in our network that we can pair it to our Visual Studio for Windows application and be able to send the project to the Mac to be built and then have it come back for testing on the Windows device. So in this video, I wanna show you how to pair your Windows Visual Studio to a Mac on your network. In Visual Studio 2022 on Windows, we have an icon here for pair to Mac. If you don't have that, you can go to the view menu, go toolbars and choose iOS. So I'm gonna click that pair to Mac icon and we'll walk you through the steps to do that. So we're gonna create a remote login on our Mac. So step one is to bring up the spotlight on the Mac and type in remote login. Step two is to check remote login. Step three is to then choose a user for the remote login. And you might even wanna set up your a unique user just for this process. So let me jump over to the Mac and show you those steps and we'll come back and make that connection here on the PC. To bring up the spotlight on the Mac, you can do a command space. We're gonna type in remote login. We wanna make sure that this option for sharing remote login is turned on. And then to get to the users, you can click the little information icon and you can select the users you want to build to add. As I said, you can create an additional user here if you wanted just for this process. I'm gonna click done and I can close that. You can also get there from the Apple menu system settings and going into general sharing and access the remote login there. Let's go back to the PC. I'm gonna click okay here on the PC and now I can choose the Mac that I want to connect to and choose pair to Mac or I can click connect. It's making the connection. I'm gonna need to add my username. And my password. It's making the connection. This can take a couple minutes. Validating Xcode. Of course, we have to have Xcode installed on the Mac. So it says it completed successfully. This host unreachable, I would ignore that. This shows there's a connections icon. I'm just gonna click okay. And now on the PC, let's select an iOS simulator. I'm gonna try the iPhone 14 and let's test our application on the iOS simulator on our Windows device. So it's gonna send the project over to the Mac to Xcode to be built. And watch the status bar at the bottom here of Windows to see that it's processing. It's and you can watch the output window for any errors that might pop up. If something does pop up, you can Google it and try to find the solution that way. So the deployment succeeded. Now launching the simulator. And if you could see the Mac, you would see that the emulator is also running on the Mac as well as the PC here. And next it should deploy our application to the emulator. That's installing the app to our emulator. And there is our application running on an iOS emulator on our Windows machine. Now, if you can see my Mac, you would see it's also running the emulator on the Mac. And when I interact with the emulator on the PC, it's doing the same thing on the Mac. So it's basically 
mirroring the emulator on the Mac here on the PC. The whole process for building remotely with a paired Mac is a little bit slow to me. If you have a Mac, I think it makes more sense to do the development on the Mac to create iOS apps. If you just jumped into this video, you can see all the videos from the .NET My Practicum playlist by clicking on the image in the lower right. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos I create, you can click my picture in the top right to subscribe to the channel.